How do we how do we cure this? You're unscrewing the light bulb. Well, hello there. Welcome to Two Point Hospital. So, after playing Project Hospital and being so terrible at it, I thought let's play Two Point Hospital and see what this is like. So, I'm going to start a. Uh, I think I might start a new game. I've already uh, done one here, but I want to do a new game. Let's abandon that one and start a game from fresh. So you can experience it all. Here we go. At two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mmm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer... So this looks like a lot more theme hospital. ...will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new <laughs> you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. Okay, so this looks like it's definitely a lot more like a theme hospital rather than project hospital, which is more of a simulation. I, don't, I won't say simulation, but it's more realistic. So, welcome to Two Point County. I'm Albert Crank. I'll be your trusty advisor on this journey. Hello, Albert. This is Hogsport, and here's your first hospital. Click on it to get started. Okay. This one, I'm guessing. There we go. So it's got a star rating. Begin your career as a, hospital, as a hospital administrator. Learn the basics of the job by establishing your first hospital. That's what we want to do then. We want to learn how to do it from the start. I must say, it's nice loading times. Two Point Hospital, welcome to Two Point County. Are you ready to start building your first hospital and curing some patients? Yes, I am. Right, first things, you need to have a look around. To move around the hospital, Oh, excuse me, I've got a case of the uh, Hecobitis. Uh, hold, the hold the right mouse button and drag. Move the cursor to the edge of the screen. Use Wasada. And we can also zoom with a mouse wheel. So, we can we can zoom. There we go. We can Wasada. And we can hold our right mouse button and also do that as well. Nice. Oh, we've got objectives up here. Okay, the first thing we need is a reception. Let's build a reception desk. So, we need to click items. Thousand dollars for that. What's it made of? Rare ancient ant wood. Right, how do I rotate it? Uh, hold the left mouse button and drag it. Okay, I guess it needs to be here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I like the sounds. Like a ninja. There we go. Place it. Place it. Click left. That's pretty nice. Nice little uh, mechanism. Right, we now need a an assistant. So we click on hire. We click on assistance. We've got three people. We've got Joey Hans, we've got Willow Curious, or we've got Mick Wetter. And if he's related to Bed Wetter, uh, what's your trait there though? What's that do? Stamina training. Energy drains at a reduced rate. Works for longer before acquiring a break. Um, yeah, let's go for Willow. Can I change? Likes, likes to argue and just a statistic. Okay, what have the ones got? High energy, has potential, appreciates wallpaper. Short temper, has baggage. Joey Hands. Oh, I'm going to have to go for Joey Hands. Because look, high energy, has potential. I don't I don't know you need any of that. But yeah, we're going for Joey Hands. And we're going to chuck him down there. Oh, look at the zoom level. Right, we need to now make a GP's office. Let's build a GP's office. To build a room, click on the room button and pick one from the list, and then drag out a floor print. Oh, look at this. Look at the stuff. He's got a bell. What's that there? Pencils. Oh, he's going doing stuff. Look, he's, he's unhappy and he's got energy. He's just, he's waiting. Right. GP's office we need. This needs to be minimum three by three. Right, so they're going to come in here. I reckon here would be nice and snug. So that's, is that the minimum size there? Three by three. Let's make it four by four, just to be different. And we want our door there. Now we get to place our stuff in it. Okay. Now do we do the same job? Do we left click and we can rotate it round? Yes. Uh, which sides, mate? There we go. Let's have the window there. 
And we want our filing cabinet in the corner of the room there. Nice. So we can add extra stuff. I wonder if the extra stuff adds anything nice. Reduces litter. Uh, that's all locked. Okay, we're just doing that then. Basic, simple room. Easy peasy. Nice. Now we need a doctor. Doctor whom? Okay, let's get a doctor then. Hire doctor. Now, we can go for Luca Chopper, Archie Peregrine, or Bert Hunt. Why does Archie seem to be, he's really good at everything? Yeah, we're having you. I don't care how much it costs. There you go. We're having you. Hospital is open. Our hospital is now open for business. Okay. Who's that talking? Right, so we need to do all these now. So we need to do zoom. Yes. Rotate, which is E and Q. Pitch the camera. Middle mouse button up and down. Nice. And now we need to diagnose a patient. So, uh, Dr. Peregrine is ready. And here we go. Who's this? We've got Kevin Guff. He's got a, di he's got a diagnosis. Hello, Kevin. What's wrong with you? Uh, now you need to go in there. Come on. There we go. In he goes. Come on, come on, Dr. Peregrine, do your stuff. Well, hello there, what is your name? Oh, see, look, look at that. We've already, we've already, we've already diagnosed him. Right. He's got, um, what's he got, though? We, then, we need to make a pharmacy anyway. Let's have a little look. He's got grout. Grout? Is, is grout, like, gout? It's frequently transmitted in bathrooms and modern medication is, is effective, unlike earlier times when it, had to be dug out painfully with a screwdriver. <laughs> right. So we need a pharmacy to treat this. To treat this. And... Alright, yeah, that's an objective down there. How, how big does a pharmacy need to be? Three by three. Should we just go for the basic for this one? Because I don't think we need a massive room for this. We do need to authorise it. And we need a nurse. So... My money isn't too bad at the moment. I've got two that look like the skilled in the pharmacy. Uh, bedside manner, emotional intelligence, diagnostics, and stat. Let's go for Sean. Sean, sir. Sean, sir. Fairfax has a dark side. Okay. You can treat the people. Let's see. So how do you get, how do you make medicine then? So apparently you put something in the spinny spinny machine <laughs> and you spin it round a lot and that's, is that going to spit a tablet out or a potion okay we're giving them some medicine and we're cured was that five thousand dollars to treat him that's really good patient cured we've cured our first patient we've earned some money and hospital reputation has improved Okay, which will attract more patients. When a doctor or nurse treats a patient, their ability will influence the chance of success. Continue diagnosing and treating patients to keep the money coming in. Okay. Nice. What have you got? Have you got berryitis? Oh, you've got grout as well. It looks like a lot of them have got grout. Okay, Janice's maintenance. Now we've got some expensive machinery, we should think about looking after it. Machines will deteriorate. Blah, blah. Machines will break after time, I think. <laughs> Mime, you swing. Uh, we'll need repairing from time to time. If a machine falls into disrepair, it can be a fire hazard. Fires are generally considered bad for business, so I've got to hire a janitor. Okay. Uh, what trait is that? Ghost capture. Yes. I want a janitor that can capture ghosts. That is bizarre. Okay, people are getting treated. Oh, we need to place two fire extinguishers. Look, it's an extra task. Items, uh, we'll do a fire extinguisher there. And one there. There we go. Janitors can re will be required to repair a machine when its maintenance falls below 50%. You can also request to fix it immediately. Okay, it's important to keep your staff and patients happy. 
So patients will get bored, thirsty and hungry over time. Make sure they have access to entertainment, food, drinks and a comfy seat. Okay, so I need to build stuff. We need to build benches. So we'll do bench. We'll do a bench outside the doctor's office there, I guess. And a bench outside the pharmacy. Nice. Also, we need a leaflet stand. Which we can just place, say, uh, there. Uh, we need a drinks machine. Okay, and we need drinks and a snack machine. So, where are we going to put this? Let's put this just around the corner. So, we want a drinks machine. And we want a snack machine. So, we want the snack machine to be facing down. There we go. Nice. If you want to pick up an item, hover over it and click and hold, or click and drag to quickly pick it up. So I can double click on this, let's see. I can click on that, pick up, put it back down, or I can sell it. Right, staff energy and breaks. Staff get tired as they work and will eventually go on a break. Uh, a staff room will help them relax and return to work energised. Okay, if you make a room large and fill it with interesting items, it will be considered more prestigious. People using a high room will become happier. A nice staff room will help them gain energy faster. Nice. Right. We need a staff room then. So let's go to rooms. Staff room. Now this has got to be three by two. But we're gonna we're gonna make this a swag room. Let's make this pretty darn big. I reckon that's gonna be quite an important room. Let's make look at the size of this room. Right. So we're gonna put we're gonna put some we're gonna put our swaggy gear in here. We're gonna have a sofa. Uh, we're going to have a, a private drinks and snack machine. We're going to have a bin. Uh, we're going to have some plants. Everyone needs a plant. Um, what else can we have? A separate armchair for uh, Nigel, who doesn't like to talk to the rest of the staff. Lockers. Lockers might be uh, pretty interesting to have in here. Couple of lockers for your uh, when you bring your um, little handheld console in. I want to lock it away, and we'll do another sofa over here. Come on, rotate, rotate, rotate with me. There we go. That is the room. Hopefully, they like that room. Staff will head to the room when they're on a break. Fill the room with interesting items to help them become refreshed before the break ends. Note, you can place a member of staff in the room to make them take a break. Okay. Okay, we seem to be turning this over nicely. More people leaving, more people coming. Right, Charlie work. Drinks and snacks are great for keeping keep people happy, but they can lead to littering. If there are no bins nearby, they'll become grumpy. Janice, okay, so I need to get I need to put bins down. Um bins near the vending machine probably makes sense. So we'll put one over there. I don't think we need any other machines at the moment. Maybe maybe a couple of plants might improve. Oh look at that. There's an aura around that. So let's put these near near the benches. Nice. Right, we need to build a toilet. Okay. We need a toilet, so this is, needs to be 3 by 2 and I think that's going to be perfect over here. So, 3 by 2 let's see, can we do 3 by 2 that way? We want a door. Can I have more than one cubicle in a toilet though? That's the question. I don't know if I can. Can we have? Would you want to share a toilet though with someone else though? Probably not. Right, we want a sink in here. And a hand dryer. And that'll do. Just have the basics. Maybe a bin as well. There we go. Okay. Janice with lengthy bins and unblocked toilets when required. This is much better than having to sweep up litter and um, other waste. Okay. We've made 12 grand and our expenses are 8. Right. Further diagnosis. We're hearing reports of some new illnesses in town. These might be harder to diagnose. We, we may need to build a new diagnosis room if a GP isn't certain. 
Okay, so we need to build general diagnosis. This is another three by three room. So I'm going to go for... Okay, as you expand the hospital of more rooms and staff, the hospital level increases. A larger hospital require, attracts more patients. As the hospital gets busier, queues may start to get long. We may need to build more GP offices and other rooms and hire more staff. Okay. And we're building this. This room looks like we're doing, it's slightly bigger. This is, this is the one that's got all the scanning stuff in it. So we'll put that there. Exam table. Uh, decorative item. Do you need that in here then? We're going to try it without it. Let's just... We probably don't need the room that big, actually, to be honest. We do need um, a bench outside it, though. There we go. Okay, we're okay with the GP's office at the moment. He's muddling through. We do need to cure two patients. Come on. Cure my patients. Okay, we've done that. Unlock ward. Nice. Okay, we've got a couple of people. Have we got a couple of people waiting for the pharmacy now, or are you going for extra, extra examinations? There's a peculiar new illness in town. Lightheadedness. Yeah, this theme hospital, anyone? We're going to need some expensive new equipment to deal with it. Continue expanding the hospital to unlock the treatment room. We may also need another GP office and some staff to keep on top of things. Okay, so I need to get another nurse. So let's hire another nurse. Um, what traits have you got? Treatment. Yes, let's have you. Let us have you. Uh, can you work in there? Nice. Right, we need two doctors as well. So let's get another GP's office. I don't think we need a big GP's office, you know. Let's do it. Let's try a three by three one. Let's do it over here. Okay. And we're just going to do the basic room over here with a cabinet and the chair, the desk, and that'll do. Okay. Need another doctor. We'll get you because you got all the traits. Willow Funkle. Willow Funkle. <laughs> that is a good name. Right, we're going to need some extra uh, seats. So if we do a seat there. Okay, what's this alert? Do we need more than Do we need more than one receptionist? I wonder. See, that's a trouble. I've only got one receptionist. And is that my receptionist? What are you doing at the moment? taking a break it's not told me to hire another receptionist but we are getting a bit of a queue here so let's get another assistant let's go for a cheap one Garth Pyre there we go let's get rid of some of these uh, people there we go okay he's just chilling in there he's on the break should we sack should we sack Garth what are you doing <laughs> he's asleep at reception We've only got one uh, GP doing anything at the moment now, which is a bit of a letdown. All right, so all these males, do we need any of these? Oh, look at this. New illness, misery guts. Chronic grumpiness due to a nihilistic semicolon. Uh, we've also got new illness, bogwarts. Filthy toilets. It can be cured of an expensive cocktail of drugs. Nice. And what was this? Oh, can we archive these? Right, I just need to click on these. We've we've read all of these. There we go. Okay, our doctors have diagnosed a patient with bed face. It requires a ward for treatment. You should consider building one. Right, can I can I build a ward yet though? Oh, we can do a ward. Look. Right, so ward is four by three. So let's do four by three. Stick that there. So we need the nurse station there. A little changing room and a bed. Can we have more than one bed? We only have one bed. Okay, let's do the basic room then. Wards. Wards can be used for diagnosis and also treat a range of illnesses. A nurse is required to admit each patient, look after them, and discharge them when they're ready to leave. 
Add multiple beds to wards to deal more than one patient. Okay. So I can't... Wait a minute. Let me see. How do I... How do I modify this room then? So let's edit. The hospital... The two point... The, the two point health ministry is keen to recognise the achievements of every hospital. If we can build a ward that satisfies the need of the local area, the hospital will be rewarded an official star rating. Right, so... I want to put another bed in here, though. Oh, that's really bad. I can put it there. Let's move this bed over. Can we have three beds in a row? Uh, I can do it like that. I don't really like... Mm, that bed there isn't ready. Right, what about if we do... Get rid of that one. Put that bed over there. Oh, we... Is that going to work or not? Ah, uh, can, can I move my door then? Right, let's move the door. We need to, we need to move this round a little bit. I've got a feeling that that bed shouldn't be exactly there. That's not blocking. Right, we've got two beds. Let's go with it. Right, maybe we need a bench outside here as well in case people want to sit down and wait. Woo! We need to cure people with lightheadedness apparently. Look. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are them? Look at Miss. Look at Jemima scream the bullpen. Right, we've got enough doctors at the moment. Receptionist is coming back off his uh, duties. No, he's not. I see trouble. My doctors at the moment are a bit. Um, I've not got that many doctors at the moment. I've only got two. You're busy diagnosing people. That does look cool. Right, that doctor's resting. He's practicing with a wand. Okay, let's have a look at you. So your energy's really low. Yours is high, but going up. There's not really an awful lot they can do interactive-wise in here. If I edit it, it gets rid of them all. Look, yes. We have got a lot of stuff locked, so we can't use any of that stuff at the moment. Maybe in time we'll be able to use it. Right, we need to make more money. Come on, make more money. We need to treat more people and make more money. These are the ones I'm hoping are going to make me money. Okay, what's this? Kudosh. By completing objectives and challenges, our organisations earns kudosh. We can use this to gain access to new items. Take a look at the items list. Any items with a padlock can be unlocked using kudosh. Best of all, we can then purchase that item. Okay. Our doctors have discovered a new illness. We need... Oh! We need the deluxe clinic. It'll cost 21000 to build. Hmm. Let's get a patient to wait. Get a patient to wait. And a staff member is going to be promoted. Nice. Let's promote you then. Right, so we need a deluxe clinic. That's to get rid of the floaty head. Uh, not the light bulb disease they've got. So this is a 3x3. Three three. Let us build one of these. Nice. And we're going to treat our light bulb patients in this one. So, there we go. Get rid of the items. Hopefully treat some people. Nice, we've got a couple of people that need treating for that. Let's see how much we get we make from the uh, light bulb one. Right, hospital reputation is now good. This will attract even more patients and staff. So, how do we how do we cure this? You're unscrewing the light bulb. We've got oh, we're doing the 3D printed head. Yes, yes, yes. That is that is funny. There we go. Nice. How much do we get for that? Eight grand. Nice. Next patient, please. All right, the engineer is cleaning that. Well, he's, he's fixing the... Uh, fix the drug mixer. Okay, that doctor there isn't doing an awful lot. Now, it did say I can unlock stuff, so let's come in here, go to edit, and some of these things were locked, weren't they? K400. What K have I got then at the moment? Have I not got any any of this karma stuff? 
I got 75. So we could unlock that. Get a TV in here. Nice. What else can we unlock? Can we unlock anything else? Mm, not really. TV should help out, Hope. Staff promotion. Nice. Senior nurse, yes. Let's promote you. Now, where are, they, are these all queuing up for this hospital room, I wonder? I really don't know where they're... They must be queuing up for this room. Just as one and two. Right, there's another light bulb patient there. Okay, you're watching the back of the TV. I think maybe uh, we need a better general ward. Come on. Get rid of the people. Come on, these are alright. Look, you're just lounging around in bed. I need another light bulb one. There we go. We've got one coming now. Straight in. Get your treatment. That'll hopefully free the doctor up to do something else. I'm sure I'm seeing some new diseases. So what have you got? You're waiting for the... Um, Waiting for the ward. I mean, we've only got two waiting for the ward. Well, three now, but there is these two. These, uh, there's one, there's one gone. Two gone. Nice, we've got a letter. Dear hospital administrator, one star hospital. Your hospital has been awarded a one star rating. That's one out of a passable three. Okay, continue to develop your enterprise in Hogsport for further esteem and trinkets. If you believe you're capable of more, um, alternatively, run before you can walk and begin to expand your organisation by or organising a new hospital in Lower Bullocks. Choice is yours. So I can either continue or I can open the map and carry on. So let's have a look. Uh, what happens if I open the map and then come back then? And shine, everyone. Let's see. And if you happen to be in Lower Bullocks this morning, Watch out for the gathering of druids down the Crogbend's ring. <laughs> In a total coincidence, the town will also pay host to a psychology convention today. Should all work out nicely. Okay then, that's very weird. So we've opened our second site up, and we've got one star in Hogsport. So, this has been, uh, yeah, this is pretty fun. Let's, uh, let's save my career. Quit to the menu. Save and quit. Yeah, so this is pretty fun. It is very much reminiscent of uh, Theme Hospital. It's a lot easier to plan the, uh, the rooms out than um, Project Hospital. But I suppose it depends if you want to go for the funny aspects of a game or if you want to go for, you know, the more technically serious side of the game. So, yeah. Anyway, this is Two Point Hospital. If you do want to see some more of this on the channel, let me know. If you want to be in the game as well, let me know. I wonder, I wonder if you can actually name the players. I should really have checked that out first. Anyway, that's Two Point Hospital. I'm Shirley Rocks. See you next time.